we back. Today I've decided that I want to create a new GOAT. Somebody better than LeBron. Somebody better than MJ. I know it's going to be tough. I mean, honestly, if I wanted to create the real GOAT in 2K, I get a guy, 99 attributes, all the badges, and he'd just be dominating. But that's, that's no fun. I've decided instead of creating the GOAT in my own image, I'm going to be using a random number generator. Now, I know everybody watching this video has experience with 2K, but for the people that don't, when you are creating a player, the lowest attribute that you can give somebody is a 25. And the highest that they could get is a 99. Hopefully you see where I'm going with this. 25 is the minimum, 99 is the maximum, and boom, you generate the overall for every single attribute in the game. And thanks to the random number generator, we could be having a center with no rebounding ability, a point guard that can't dribble. A lot of things are possible in today's video, but we're trying to create the GOAT. Can this random number generator do that? We'll find out. But there are some things that we need to get to before we even get to the attributes, like position, height, weight. And y'all know the best way to determine anything is with the wheel. The wheel has been giving us so many gems throughout the history of this channel. And today, it might this might be the most important thing. Will we be creating the next best point guard or the next best center or anything in between? Let's find out. We're spinning it right here. Who will we land on? What position? Oh, we are at the power forward position. We're building the next Tim Duncan, Dirk, KG. Anybody but Karl Malone, basically. Anybody but Karl Malone. And now we have to figure out his height. So, <laughs> I Google shortest NBA power forward. And well, here are some of our options. 6'6", Charles Barkley, that is the lowest. But I mean, let's be honest. 6'5 is probably the shortest because guys like PJ Tucker run power for it and sometimes even run center. 6'6, six, six, Charles, Charles Barkley's one of the goats at power forward and he was 6'6 six, six doing it. That gives me hope for our player. Bleacher Report put out an article, the 25 greatest undersized players in NBA history. Chuck Hayes. Oh, that's it. I don't need to see the rest. Chuck Hayes was like 6'5, six, 6'6 six, six at the center position. As a center. You know, like I said, P.J. Tucker has been doing it a little bit, but like this man helped spent his whole career as a 6'6 center. And then we get to the tallest power forwards. And well, well, Porzingis has played power forward in his career. Right now, as I'm recording this video, he has been starting with Willie Cauley Stein. That makes him the power forward. So we can get somebody that is 6'5", or 7-3. And we go back to the wheel. You know how things go. Um, so 6-5, technically, and then 7-3. Here we go. That's such a wide margin of heights. And it looks like we got a seven-foot power forward, y'all. I'm thinking about Dirk. And shout out to my guy Gavin for sending me this signed Dirk picture. I mean, if you're interested, the P.O. Box opening videos and the P.O. Box address is in the description. But now that we know we're making a power forward that is seven foot, we can finally go over to 2K and create him. No matter what this guy looks like, what his name is, that's who it is. We just gonna adjust his height, that's it. What would our guy look like? Our creative player, okay, what's my guy's name? Sheldon Hart. Ah, I don't like the name Sheldon. <laughs> it's like, there's like three people watching this video with the name Sheldon feeling personally attacked. I, I, I'm joking. I don't really care. And he's from Australia. Okay. Power four center from Australia. And I, I do want to make him 18. And well, seven foot. He's hooping in some Clay Thompson's. Okay. You better hope the random number generator makes you a knockdown shooter. Because there's no other reason to hoop in Clay Thompson's unless you got that three point shot. And well, here we go. Starting off with driving layup. And we're going to go all the way down for every single attribute. Now, I won't show you every single one. We'll do recaps and things like that, but I'll show you the critical ones for a power forward. Starting off with driving layup. 25 minimum, 99 maximum. Noted. Okay, so he won't be he won't be very good. Whoa! It was already on 66. Hey, something ain't right here. Okay. Post fade. 85. Give my guy the ball in the post and let him go to work. 85 post fade. That sounds like Dirk. Remember, this guy's only 18, though, so he's not going to start off as Dirk. He might turn into Dirk down the line, but an 85 post fade is dope. A hook. Okay, a 50 hook, not good. Post control. 
75. 59 on the draw fouls, but now we get into shot close, shot mid, and three-pointers. Will my guy be able to score the ball? That's, that's basically what this is. Can he shoot? Because if he can't shoot, you better hope you're a god defender. Because it's going to be rough if you can't. All right, all right. Shot close is... Okay, okay. You know what? I can't complain about that. I can't complain about that. 78. Remember, he is an 18-year-old rookie from, from Australia. He can grow into a good shot close guy. But if he can't shoot close, he better be able to hit that midi. All right, I'm out. Thank you for watching. Okay, so he can't hit the mid-range shot. None of that can, will matter if he can hit the three. Can you hit the three? Yes, he can. Lethal three-point shooter, he is here. But if his foot is on the line, if his foot is on the line, he's breaking it. But as long as his toes are behind that little thin line, he is knocking it down. Okay, I'm not complaining so far. This ain't that bad. Free throws at 92. Okay, so he can... Make his three-point shots. He can hit free throws. His pass IQ was out of this world. Okay. But his accuracy is not good. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, he's he's got Jason Kidd's mind without Jason Kidd's ability. So, now the next couple attributes are super important for a power forward. Can you rebound? I guess the drive and dunk is out. Can you rebound is super important. Now, as a seven-foot power forward, I need him to rebound offensively and defensively. So, I need at least, at least, a, like, 80 on the offensive boards. 92. He is a Enos Cantor type player. And I mean that exclusively on the offensive rebound. I don't mean the rest of the game. You know what I'm saying? Offensive rebounding at a 92. Seven foot. His standard on better be high. It's it's not. The man's vertical gotta be like this much. If he is seven foot and he can't standing dunk. Whatever. I, I can't trip too much. But if his driving dunk is high, I cannot care less about a standing dunk. Tell me this man got bounce. 84. I'll take an 84. Shot IQ. 76. He might be chucking bad shots. Who knows? And a 72 on his hands. So first column, his offense. This is what we found out. His post fade is lethal. He's a knockdown three-point shooter. Same with his free throws. If he gets fouled, he's making that free throw. Offensive rebounding is elite. He can drive and dunk with the best of them. He's got good vision. He's got good vision. But bad accuracy. Good IQ, but bad accuracy. So, I don't know. Will he get a lot of turnovers? We'll find out. Moving on to the defense. Okay. He could turn into an elite defensive player here. There's a lot of stuff that matters here. But the first one is the rebounding ability. Defensive rebounding. He's already clean in the offensive glass. And the defensive rebounding is even better. 96 Move out of the way, Drummond. We got a new best rebounder in the league. The next thing we got is interior defense. And for his interior defense, we are talking 85. 85. Yo, so far, the random number generator has been super, super generous. Moving on with his perimeter defense. We don't care about this. He's a power forward. And he sucks. Thank God this is the one that they gave us a super, super low rating. I don't care about that. But the blocks, on the other hand, is a 94. He might win defensive player of the year as a rookie. And lastly, on the steals, 51. Can't trip too much about that. So, great rebounder, great interior defender, blocks elite. He just struggles on the perimeter. He's a seven-foot power forward. I didn't expect him to be out there clamping up at the best of them. But in the paint, uh, you, you better not come into that paint. Next, we have this athleticism. How fast will he be? Um, his vertical, his strength and all of those type of things. Starting off with his lateral quickness, it is a 70. Now with his speed. Hello, De'Aaron Fox? Russell Westbrook? John Wall? Move out of the way. There's a seven foot power forward who's faster than all of y'all. All of y'all. His speed will ball. Okay, he, he's a power forward. I didn't expect him to be out there, you know, hitting dribble moves on people like that. I can't believe we just got 99 speed. Okay, okay. So we get 99 speed. His acceleration has to be high too, right? 53. So how does that work? It takes him a long time to get to his max speed, but he's still max speed. Whatever, we're getting to his vertical next, which is also super important for power four. He can block, he can rebound. None of that matters if his vertical is low. And it's, net, it's at an 80. Can't complain with an 80. This has been a success. 75 on the strength, I guess that's fine. 79 on the stamina and the hustles of 57. I mean, I could not have asked for much more, bro. This this challenge definitely had a possibility of him being buns. 
It ain't happening, bro. This guy's gonna be 18 years old and talented. Talented, talented. Now, we don't care about durability because I'm playing with no injuries. Mental, and then that's that's almost it. We're down to the mental, and then his... What does that stand for? Miscellaneous. That's, that's what that means. All right, so we start off with pass perception. I don't really care about this stat too much. I don't even think his steal rating is high, so whatever we get... I, I'm not complaining. Okay, okay, well, 59 is really low, okay? 59 is real low, but I'm not complaining about it. Everything else just looks so good. I can't complain about a 59 pass perception. Sure, he just won't be in the passing lanes. He's going to block a lot of shots. He's going to contest a lot of shots to rim. He just won't be in the passing lanes. It's fine. But defensive consistency is super important, too. Because no matter how high your block is, if you're not consistent with it, nobody cares. So please be high. 87. 87 baby okay all right so 87 on that pat oh help defense iq oh mm. okay mm. uh that hurts that that definitely hurts no matter uh i was hoping that one day this guy could be a defensive player of the year candidate and if he's not good on help defense i don't think he can be defensive player of the year and then lastly we have offensive consistency this is just as important as defensive consistency so seven uh, 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 87 I almost said 78 87 this is really solid the last two we have are his intangibles and his potential the potential determines if this guy can blossom into a superstar or is he gonna be a role player for his whole career but we start off with intangibles 60 I I still don't know what intangibles do I even asked the people at 2k what is intangibles for and they said literally nothing I got, I got ignored on that part of the question. You know what I'm saying? But lastly, the potential. This button right here determines if we have a career role player or potentially the GOAT or something in between. I'm just going to hit it. And three. And two. One. 81. 81. So he probably won't turn out to be the GOAT. But he could be really good not gonna give him any badges he'll develop badges throughout his the course of his career but let's see his overall i'm guessing he's a 7 80 81 82 i was close i was close sheldon hart 7 foot 240 18 year old from australia two-way skilled stretch four. Ooh, that's not like somebody you want to take to the park yeah uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 this is about to be great so what i'm about to do it's go to sh oh shout out to Johnny Boom by the way and Andre Levinston. I'm gonna copy him into free agency, and we're gonna do a fantasy draft. Okay, y'all. Let's see what number draft pick our guy end up being. So I know he ain't going all the way up here at an 82 overall player. Maybe not not first round at all. He might low key sneak to the bottom. I, I don't care. He might sneak into the bottom of the second round potentially. Jaron Jackson Jr. Okay, we got we got some players of his caliber, kind of. Where is Sheldon Hart going to end up? There he is, the Nuggets. The Nuggets took him in the second round, 27th overall pick. Okay, Nuggets, let's see. Now, when I'm into this, I'm not doing any rebuild. I'm just watching and see how his career turns out. This won't be a full career sim, but if you leave enough likes, maybe Sheldon Hart gets a full career sim. But I got to know you're interested in that type of thing, so be sure to leave a like on the video. Who is going to be on Sheldon's team? It's going to be him and Luca. He about to win an MVP. He about to, not MVP. Whew. He's about to win a championship. Him, Luka, Mitchell Robinson. Okay. They they drafted big heavily. We got three seven-footers right here. Jeremy Lamb, Obi Toppin, Cal Kuzma, Avery Bradley, J.J. Barea, Jared Culver. Okay, maybe the team is not amazing, but Luka's on the team. Y'all know Luka does great things. With a guy like Sheldon, his ability to shoot the three is going to benefit him a lot. All right, first game of the day, or, or the season, is against Memphis. And it's a loss. But Sheldon led scores with 19, 8, 6, 2, and 3? No fouls? Three blocks, no fouls? That's unheard of, y'all. That's unheard of. Okay, second game of the season. It's a win. Luca. Oh, Sheldon didn't do. Oh, one for eight. Oh, Sheldon. Come on, baby. We need we need better than that. We need better than that. Game three is a win. Okay. 16, 10, 4, 5 turnovers. Sheesh. Um, good offensive rebound, and he don't foul a lot, I guess. I want to watch a game. Sheldon Hart. For, no, 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 no. I don't want to be in control. I need to turn that off. 
If they decide that they want to trade Sheldon halfway through the season, so be it. I'm turning everything on automatic, bro. Because who knows? They might have wanted to accept that trade. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, he don't get traded. Playing with Luka seems like you're, you're going to get at least a championship. A championship. Eventually. Anywho, I do want to watch him play at least a little bit in the game against somebody really good. Laurie Marketing, technically, overall wise, he's better. But Laurie gave him the, the business. I should have probably watched that. I want to see him go and get like a really good power forward. Rui Hachimura, not there just yet. Okay, this team's not very good, huh? Next game, Coroots. You better dominate, Sheldon. Dominate Coroots. Oh, we lost. Oh, because it was LeBron's team. Okay. And you didn't dominate either. Where are the good power forwards at? Giannis. I'm in. I'm in. Let me watch Sheldon guard Giannis. This should be a good game, man. It should be a good game. I'm excited to see how he guards Giannis. Because y'all know he has a low he has a low perimeter defensive rating. And Giannis plays a lot on the perimeter. So I'm curious to how he looks out there. He looks slow, even though his speed is a 99. Um, he's wearing the number 27 that I just realized. He looks bad. Honestly, he looks bad. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. No, his mid-range shot. No, no, no. No, you didn't. What is your mid-range on again? F. F. And he just... <laughs> off the dribble mid-range, I, I guess. They're not going to give him the... Look. Look, he's got Isaac Okoro on him. Give him the ball. Oh, my God. He had Isaac Okoro on him. But instead, Jeremy Lamb wants to just dribble. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping in. I want to play. And when I say that, I mean, like, I want to, to take all of the shots. It's probably on pro. It's probably on pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would guess it's on pro, but that's all right. We just we just testing the waters a little bit. Give it to Giannis. I dare you to. Oh, you're going to shoot the three? <laughs> we'll live. Give it to Luka. Come on, Luka. I need a isolation for Luka Doncic. I need my power four to, to fade. Get out the way, Jeremy. Fade. Look at that fade to the three. Never mind. It didn't work. I think his post fade is super high, but Giannis is strong. But it is on pro. So it so it's easy. <laughs> yes, sir. His first oh my god. He's averaging over two blocks a game. All right, that should help his efficiency a little bit that he's not taking mid-range jump shots anymore. In the first game, he shoots 50%. Uh, this is a team that I said might be a championship quality team because Luca's on it, but so far they are struggling. And Luca is probably not putting up great. Never mind. He's averaging basically a 29 point triple double. Okay, so I'm going to simulate to around the trade deadline and see how things go. See if he'll probably be in the conversation for rookie of the year. But then again, he's going against like James Wiseman, LaMelo Ball, and those guys always put up crazy numbers. All right, the team got really good, y'all. Number three seed, bro. They're the three seed. And yeah, it's only two games back. So Luka has to be having an MVP caliber season, bro. Okay, so he wasn't the captain of the All-Star game. But he is a starter. But we don't, we're not here for Luka. We're here for Sheldon. And Sheldon is averaging 14, 9, 4 and a half. Steal, block and a half. And his efficiency is not terrible. He might legit be in the running for rookie of the year. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is the rookie of the year race? He's number two. And what is his salary? I didn't even look at what his, his salary was. Okay, he's on a two-year deal. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Could this team win a championship in the first year? The Bulls have Anthony Edwards and Danny Abdiya, so they're they're definitely probably not that good. But the rest of us, our team is looking solid with Luka doing Luka things. Wow. And as you would have probably expected, Luka Doncic averaging a 32-point triple-double wins MVP. James Wiseman does take rookie of the year. That makes sense. And that's pretty much it. He better have made an all-rookie first, first team. Where is it at? He did. All-rookie first team here. So... You know, good thing. He got up to an 83 overall, so he progressed a little bit going into the season. I'm curious to what's going to happen with his bad situation. Because I've seen it where a player ends a season with one or two badges that the offseason hits and they have 15. It can happen, depending on his boomer bust system that 2K are always talking about. All right, will we be able to get out of this first round of the playoffs going against the Pels who have LeBron? All right, all right. This team has LeBron, so maybe not. Or, Luka might be that nice. Or, it's LeBron. I think it's LeBron. So, you know, 3-1 lead. Is LeBron blowing the 3-1 lead? He did it! LeBron blew the 3-1. And in the game 7, Sheldon did not really come to play too much. He got three steals. Round 2, bro, this team might win a championship. They're going against the Clippers, who have De'Aaron, Seth Curry, Jason Tatum. That's a cool, constructed team. Is our team better? Luka is a beast, bro. First of all, Sheldon, 
is averaging 15, 8, and 4.5 and in the playoffs. He's like, is he about to win a championship as a rookie? Malcolm Brog, the Collar Sexton. We, we played against this team, y'all. They're trying to get their revenge. Game one is a, oh my God. Oh my God. Is Sheldon about to win a NBA championship in the first year? I cannot believe it. Luka hard carried, 100% Luka hard carried. But he still ended up an NBA champion at the end of the day. I can't imagine it. Becoming a rookie and getting an instant championship. And I, no, 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 no. Let's, let's not discredit my boy Sheldon Hart. He played well. He was a playoff starter on a championship team. How much better will he get? We'll find out in a couple seconds because I accidentally went past player progression. So we still have Luka. And Sheldon jumped up one overall. I guess two overalls. But like I mentioned, the badge grind, he got 11 badges. So that's good. He's more productive today than yesterday. And his mid-range shot went from an F to a D minus. Wow, he's great. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, ice and veins, break starter, box, chase down, intimidator, pogo stick, rebound chaser, rim protector, worm. He got all the defensive badges you want from your power forward. But he's also on a one-year deal. I've already decided that I'm going to test the free agent market this this summer. Wow. You going to walk away from championships, my G? All right, all right. I'm simulating this season. If he walks away from championships, I don't know. Is he crazy? He can't be thinking about him wanting his own team, right? Right? Unless this season he starts to turn up. And it don't look like he is. Yeah, it don't look like he's turning up. His percentages are significantly better. But you ain't my own team material. You just ain't. Man, this team is great, y'all. I can't, He can't walk away from this team, bro. They're too goaded. Plan, if you can be the number two to Luka for his entire career, you're guaranteeing yourself multiple, multiple championships. But no, Sheldon said he needs to be the star for some reason. There's no reason for you to be the star, my guy. Just accept that secondary thing third position role and you'll be fine look at Luca's numbers a little bit down from last season yep but still MVP still MVP John Isaac most people player goes to Cole Anthony Mike Malone was coach of the year that's what we do did my guy make an all NBA team I doubt it <laughs> but he did oh my god 17 and a half 10 5 with a steal and a block and a half 43 two three percent from the field 40 percent from three and he's an 87 overall now his defense has to be insane but he didn't make an all defensive team huh he made an all nba team There's, okay so i can see him wanting to make his own team bro first round they're going against the pals who have lebron we beat this team before last round so i'm gonna simulate this whole round oh lebron coming out with a vengeance and he did it lebron did it Bro, 2 gates trash. I mean, yes, LeBron team, so I'm not complaining. 2 gates trash. The amount of times I have lost as a 1C to an 8C in this game alone is ridiculous. It just is. It just is. Now, will this leave a bad taste in Sheldon's mouth and now he wants out? We will find out. Will, will LeBron and them... Oh, the one seat on the other side got eliminated too, by the way. So, you know, 2K being 2K. Andre Drummond <laughs> wins finals MVP with Zion. And Derrick Rose got a ring. Let's go, D-Rose. The Bulls made it, but lost. Okay. All right. What will happen? What will happen in free agency? I'm going to simulate past free agency. I just want to see. Will he come back? Will he come back for one more year? Or multiple more years? Sign the Supermax. I don't know. He was an NBA player this year. Did he come back? He left Luka. Oh, you weirdo, bro. Just stay. Oh, my God. And he went to the Pacers. Him, Donovan Mitchell, Killian Hayes. This guy who's a number two overall pick, Dylan Brooks. Dario Sarge is your starting center, my G? Oh, man. What type of contract you signed here, bro? What type of contract you ended up getting? <laughs> hey, the money is great. I can't even talk to you. This is going to be our last year. See, not 2K beast. Jeez. Um, it's going to be our last year to see his new team, how he performs. Because, I mean, he left a lot on the table, bro. He went from a team that will be guaranteed competing for a championship every single year to somewhere else where you're still not even like the number one option, G. I'd rather be the number two option behind Luka than the number two option behind Donovan Mitchell. The Luka's team 
has way more the ceiling is higher and you might not even be the number two option because this Dion guy is hooping Killian Hayes is hooping this man went from the second best player on the championship quality team to like the fourth best on a bad team how do you how do you make that happen oh there's a 32 point double double though all right never mind never mind numbers are better numbers are better whatever i'll simulate the season you know what we're simulating to the all-star break trade deadline ish and we'll see if he's an all-star he better himself can he be an all-star at the trade deadline they're the five seed y'all so it ain't going too bad they're only four games out of the first place spot so it's a close eastern conference here i'm curious to what the denver nuggets look like without them they're still great without them so as long again as long as lucas on your team you're fine oh they replaced him with gordon madison the 30th overall pick and he's an 82 as a 30th oh yeah that's nice that's good drafting that's great drafting all right let's take a look at, at how my guy's performing so far this year he is averaging 18 12 and a half five assists two and a half blocks in a steal and no two and a half blocks in a steal he might be in defensive player of the year conversations he just might be you know and maybe he went there because he saw the potential in this young core but he still left Luca. <laughs> but he still left Luca, and that is inexcusable at the end of the day. Um, he's not in MVP running, but Luca is, of course. Rookie of the year, obviously not. Not six. Russell Westbrook, six man of the year, potentially. Oh, okay. I don't know who he's backing up. Uh, defensive player of the year. Nah, he's not even in the running. Okay, no big deal. But was he an all star? Will he be an all star? All star teams. He's on team Luca. Oh, all teammates. He drafted his homie. Look at that. All right. Will they win a championship? Probably not. But anything is possible. As long as you're not the one seed. Because 2K hates the one seed. Season is wrapped and Luka does it for three years in a row. Um, John Knight's defense player of the year. Russell Westbrook does win. I don't know. Who, who is on his team? Point guards. And then we're talking about who? What team? OKC he's on? Who is he backing up in OKC? Okay, we have to take a look at that. Who is he backing up in OKC? All NBA first team though. My bad. But you could have been, I still, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I still got to keep saying Luca because y'all could have been doing this together. Future dynasties built. But no, I want to play with Donovan Mitchell. I want to play with Donovan Mitchell. That's, that's how I imagine him sounding. Okay. Um, I want to see who Russell Westbrook is backing up, that he is a sixth man. Oh, Jason Franklin. He's the number one overall pick last year. And well, he, yes. Oh my God. He's a, he's a, he is a guy playmaking a plus perimeter defense shooting he does it all except for rebound but he's a point guard he's 6'5 point guard he should be actually a good rebounder 6'5 but he's averaging five rebounds a game so even with his bad rebound rating he just gets rebounds okay all right five c going against the milwaukee bucks sheldon let's see how this goes going against the milwaukee bucks nope not looking great to start off with one one two one them three one them He's been in a part of a 3-1 comeback before, but not two years out of three. Well, he averaged 22 and 10 and 5 in the playoffs. He did everything he could, but the team couldn't win. All right, that's all she wrote. Hopefully, you did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, man. Though 2K21 is very not fun at the moment, I think we've been put putting together some really fun videos. So, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see y'all soon.